I just wanted to let you guys know, just kind of explain what's going on right now. So I've been working on a project for my business for about four months now. And um, literally it took me forever like to come up with what I wanted on my product and the design and just everything in general. It took me like a long time, like more than four months to, you know, brainstorm, but it took like four months for them to kind of get things ready. Um, long story short, my package is lost. So I spent a bunch of time on this product, um, a bunch of money as well. And it was supposed to be delivered to my house on Tuesday, May 25th, 2021. And supposedly they did deliver it that day at 11 31 a.m but because i wasn't home i don't know if they really did deliver it here or if they delivered it to like a wrong address but i was in avenel so that's my hometown and i'm currently well my package was supposed to be delivered to my address where i go to school which is chico california and um, when I got home, I got home on Wednesday, 20, May 26, 2021 at like 9 p.m. There was nothing on my front door. Like, there's nothing. So I'm like, okay, maybe they, um, like they put that they delivered it, but like it was a mistake or something. Like they haven't delivered it. So I contacted FedEx and, um, I kind of... Like, I let them know what was going on, and they told me that they would get back to me today or, you know, the day I had called. And they did. They got back to me the day that I called. But they told me that the delivery guy said that he left the package in my front door, which is not here. And I was like, okay, fine. I'll ask the manager. So I asked the manager, and she gives me, like, a bitchy attitude. Like, I'm like, um, can because like a long time ago i had asked her about if she can ask maybe if someone received my letters like it was important letters in the mail and she was like okay like i'll ask and it's been like two months she didn't get back to me at all like she didn't tell me what happened and nothing so i was like okay um so i messaged her yesterday last night and i was like um can you please like do me a big favor like can you ask because she sends a message to everybody here when she has like a concern or like a comment like something she wants to address and I was like, okay, can you like help me out and send a message to everybody and ask if they saw my package? Cause it's like a big package. It's it's like 30 pounds. So it's impossible to miss. And then I also told her like, I asked you about the letters about uh, several weeks ago and you haven't gone back to me. But like, if you could please ask about my package, like that would be great, thanks. Or something like that. And she gets back to me this morning and she's like, hi Lorena, like, um, I know nothing about your 30 pound package, um, a bunch of other stuff. And she's like, I slash, and then the name of like the, the, um, the complex, she's like, we're not responsible for no lost or stolen packages or letters. And, um, I was like, okay. So I replied back to her like immediately after I got her message and I was like, okay, well, you don't have to be rude about it. Like, I'm just asking you to do me a favor. Like you're always bitching about like you're always on everybody's ass about your your um parking lot so i was thinking like i thought maybe you'd be like on top of safety and security as well but she messaged me back like apologizing she's like i'm sorry if it came off i came off rude but she was rude like for real like it, it almost sounded like she was like i'm bothering like if she was bothered enough by my message and like it kind of got me mad because i'm like okay like you're the only person on site so who are we to, supposed to talk to about these kind of stuff but anyway, she told me she doesn't know nothing about my package. And I was like, okay, so now what? Like, I called FedEx back and I told them, like, I think that the delivery guy, like, he might have delivered my package to a wrong address or he never delivered it at all because I've had packages delivered to this address before and, like, big boxes. And, um, like, I'll leave and I won't be here for, like, three days and I come back and my packages are still here. So like why is this one missing and it's the first time that it happens to me but another thing is that like my neighbors they have their boxes like delivered to their door literally and the little boxes stay there for like 24 hours or sometimes even longer like i'll show you guys right now there's my neighbor has like a package that was delivered to her like even before i got here which um it's been like almost two days now 
and it's still there so i was thinking like if someone was to take my package if it was stolen like why if i was someone who wanted to steal a package i wouldn't take a big box like first of all it's heavy i'm on the third floor and it's really noticeable so i would go and get like the smallest boxes since it's like easier to carry um no one's gonna notice and you know it's not gonna be heavy to carry around but um yeah that's my that's my logic on all of this and um I don't know like if if it was like on the way and people were just um like if it was like in the middle of the way for people to pass by and get to their unit like okay I understand maybe they moved it maybe they put it away for me to come back and get it but nobody ever does that and why would they put my package away like I don't have friends here for them to get my stuff like that and I never give it get anybody else's thing so I don't understand why someone would do that so i don't know like i don't think nobody stole my package like for real like i don't think anybody took it um i think that um the fedex guy just didn't deliver it and maybe he thought he did and he put that he delivered it but maybe they have it in their facility or it's still in their fedex um vehicle because there's no other explanation other than maybe my neighbor has it but again why would she get my package i'm still gonna go ask and see maybe if um they have it but i don't i don't think so and yeah like i don't understand like i'm so confused and i'm so like frustrated because um like i said it took me a bunch of time and a lot of money and like a lot of effort and i'm like i've been waiting for this so long like i was gonna finally announce what i was like putting out yesterday like two days ago actually and now i can't like i have to wait if i reorder my package it's gonna take maybe like another month or so and i'm gonna have to pay a bunch of money again so i don't know what i'm gonna do like i really don't like if i don't find my package then i guess i'm just gonna have to reorder it and see what, what happens after that maybe i'll get my other package later on maybe they'll find it maybe they'll send it back to the um to the center um if they find it in their facility or i don't know if it's lost or if it's stolen like I guess whoever stole it's gonna give me more publicity if you guys want to sell what I had in there um you guys are gonna give me more publicity which is gonna help my business so that's the bright side of it um but yeah let me show you guys like what I mean like my neighbor has a whole ass package there and it's sitting there it's been sitting there for like two days now and it's stupid because like it's a little box that anybody can take and like it's just right there so let me show you guys Like literally it's right there like just sitting down just sitting there and like i have to go and ask everybody on this um floor and ask about my package because apparently um it's lost and yeah that's what i'm dealing with right now i haven't even combed my hair i have like the biggest um dark spots I cried yesterday like I was so frustrated I was at the gym and when they called me I was like in the middle of a workout so then I stopped and like I listened to what she had to tell me and I was like when she told me like the guy said that he did deliver it like he also explained how um that he knows where I live and stuff and I'm like okay like yeah I know who this guy is and I'm like well then how come my package is not there and like she told me everything and I was like okay so that kind of ruined my mood and I'm like yeah well that was like my last resource like I was thinking maybe they didn't deliver it and they marked it as delivered but it was a mistake and I was like hoping that they would tell me that um that they still had it with them and that they would deliver it soon but it ruined my entire workout like really bad so the remainder of the day I just sat down and waited for my boyfriend to finish working out and I just came home and I started crying like I was so frustrated and I still am. I don't know what I'm going to do. It's like I spent so much money and it's so frustrating. And I feel like this is the downside of having a business. And it sucks, honestly. Like it looks like it's all fun and games, but it's a lot of responsibility and um, a lot of work. So I don't know what I'm going to do, honestly. If you guys have any suggestions or any comments, any it just has, has, has this ever happened to you? Just like let me know because... I really feel like I'm the only person going through this right now and I'm sure that it's happened to a lot of people but 
I'm so frustrated, bro. Like I wait, like I have the pictures ready to post what I'm talking about. And I'm like dying to show you guys what it is, like what I worked on for such a long time. And I can't, like I wanted to hold the product on my hands because it's one thing to just buy something that's already manufactured and like made, but it's a whole different story when you like literally come up with the, the design and everything that you want. It's just like an emotional feeling where it's emotional where you just want to hold your product and like look at it like, you know, hold it physically and um, like just admire what you worked on. You know what I mean? So I'm just like, I don't know. But yeah, that's all I wanted to let you guys know. That's all I wanted to say for um today. Sorry, I got a little carried away, so I was walking this way. But yeah, that's where I'm at right now. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, I hope you, had, you guys are having a wonderful day. And yeah, I don't know what else to say, honestly. Um, clearly, I'm like having the worst week. And um, but... I hope I find my package. I mean, if I find it, I'll let you guys know. And I guess I'll be posting it very soon if I find it. And if I don't, then I'm going to have to wait a little longer. But yeah, just wanted to share that with you guys really quickly. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Maybe my next video will be me showing you guys my, my product. And um, yeah.